It's making someone feel like they're present in your story. So like how many of you guys, when you hear a story and it's really detailed right from the beginning, you're like so engaged, you're there and you know exactly what they're feeling, right? So with video ads and story ads and everything we talk about with content in our advertising, that's what we have to make our audience feel like. So you guys are like, well, how in the world do I make that happen, Cheyenne? Like that can be hard for me. I'm not the best writer. Guess what? I failed college English my senior year of high school when I tried to take it as a senior because I thought, you know, oh, let's get some credits out of the way. I failed college English, guys. I sucked at it, but like I'm passionate about writing ads and that's made me a better writer. So come, please understand that I like come from a background of no ad copy, no good writing, nothing. But like learning this skill in advertising, like I'm slowly learning and sharing this with you guys. So here we go. Like, how do you make that happen? How do you make someone feel like they're in your story? So if we're going to use Jamie's example, um, instead of her saying, I just passed out during work, like how can we beef that up and make it, um, a little bit better? So I passed out cold on the floor and in the midst of coming back to my senses, uh, I vaguely heard a customer scream. What's taking so long? So like, if she were to say that, like you are right there in that, in the, in the story and you know exactly what she's going through instead of, um, Jamie just saying like, I passed out during work. How boring is that? So if you were to add sensory details, the audience is there right there with, so just use the five senses in your writing, um, to build off of that as well. Just using emotion in your writing. Some, um, I notice more in guys than girls, it's hard to get emotional. It's hard to get deep down and like tell your story, but those are the best performing ads guys. Like when people can relate and what Jamie just talked about, like, I don't know if Jamie knows this, but she's actually my twin that I just discovered, like literally to a T, like my dad had custody of me in seventh grade, like to the T of that detail, we're twins. Um, but we can talk about that another day, but now I can relate to Jamie so much more. And I would click on her ad because we're the same person. Little did I know if you're doing a video ad. Don't be monotone. So a lot of us like get nervous when we're in front of a camera and, um, to not get nervous, just like doing live videos helps you do that, but not being monotone. If you make your ad feel like an assignment, then you're going to be monotone, right? Um, so if you're excited and you're talking like right when trainer die begins, Sean is so pumped up and guess what? That makes all of you pumped up, whether you like it or not, like that happens. Okay. So like Sean screaming, being so excited, guess what? You're excited. So if you're in your ad talking and you're so excited and passionate about what you're talking about, guess what? Your audience is also going to feel that way. So don't be monotone. One last thing that we all do because when we talk, we're passionate about what we talk about. Um, so don't ramble, try to get to point A, B and C within your ad. Okay. So good advertisements, like when we're watching the Super Bowl or stuff like that, um, they're over in 30 seconds and we know what happened. Um, Budweiser dilly dilly. We all know that's a thing now, right? Like with your advertisements, get to point A, B and C as fast as you can, but also, um, put emotion in those details between A, B and C. So connect the dots.